Deputy Controller Dr. Paisin Dakulala announcing a second death to COVID-19 yesterday afternoon. I will give more detail. Tomorrow all I can say is that he had a number of comorbidities, meaning he said some other causes that have also added on to his demise. Uh, whereas the first one, we do have the certificate and we are clear the 35 year old and the, the cause of his death would mainly be from respiratory failure as a result of the COVID-19 you know, effect. The second death following an encore of social media critics that the first COVID-19 death was not COVID-19 related. Dr. Paisin Dakulala stating the medical report is clear. Well, I've got the medical certificate here, so that's why I'm bringing the point home about what, what has ha actually happened. So without that, you know, we can speculate. But the medical certificate here is with me. So that's why we're making that, that particular, you know, point. As the lockdown commences in Port Moresby, testing will be stepped up with an expected 10,000 in the next 14 days. To ensure that we provide those uh, clear sites, uh, especially in the clinical settings, there's about 32 sites altogether uh, in the National Capital District and that's, they will be part of that, but there will be others that we will uh, scale up in all the three electorates so that some of it will be clo closest to the communities uh, and others uh, will be uh, in, uh, in settings where there's a lot of people. But as health officials push for the health aspect of COVID-19, the controller is left with the difficult job of getting Port Moresby residents to comply with measures in place. The adherence to, to, to the measures that we've just put in place as of yesterday and it is very much our intent to make sure that everyone complies. Again, it is a warning to all of you, those of you out there, that understand the measures. Common sense will prevail, but understand the measures and do your utmost best to comply with them. Manning reminding the public that fines and charges are provided under the Pandemic Act and police will be out in full force. Comply with directions. Uh, whether it be by measures or directions or even you know, anyone acting under the Pandemic Act, um, it is an offence. Uh, let me remind the, the, the city and the country again. For individuals, it is a 50,000 cleaner fine or five years imprisonment or both. That, that, is, that is how serious the Pandemic Act is. Not only that, also on social media users spreading misleading information. It is definitely disheartening uh, for those who wake up every day to ensure that you and I are kept safe. Um, those who intentionally put, the, put themselves at risk um, to, in our fight against COVID-19. So that fake news only serves one purpose. And, um, and for us to protect our country, that, that, that is not, that is not what, uh, what is needed right now. But of course, with the rest comes the question of jail capacity, especially at a time of social distancing. As to whether or not we have um, the, the holding capacity in our jails, that, that, is, that is an ongoing challenge. Yes, admittedly it is. Um, but that is something that, uh, we, that uh, all those in, in, the, in, the, in the criminal process are aware of. Meanwhile, city residents are told to adhere to the measures in place and can check the NOC 19 website for more information. Adelaide Sirx Kari, National, MTV News.